Hello everybody, the uh, EverDrive X7, 64X7, has just been updated by Crix, and it fixes the issue with the Analog 3D. If you have an Analog 3D, you can't use this cart unless you do this update. So what you're seeing here, guys, is that we have OS 3.09. You'll have to extract that onto your SD card that goes into your EverDrive, but there is a caveat. The caveat is that you do require an original N64 in order to install the boot ROM. So we're going to go through that process and how it works and all that stuff. And it's just to help you. So first things first, you're going to go to the following directories. They're going to be in my uh, description here. You got your bootloader. You're going to download your boot ROM and you're going to download version 3.09. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my OS folder here and extract that out. Put that right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace on our EverDrive 64x7, we're going to replace the ED64 folder. When it asks you to replace it, just replace them all. And the next thing you're going to have to do is uh, I'll bring up the instructions again here. This is just brand new. I'm doing this for the first time as well. All right, so boot ROM, readme. All right, install the OS on the cartridge. We've done that. Download the boot ROM. Run the cartridge on an original Nintendo 64. It will not start with the analog 3D, which we saw. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that next. All right, so in the cartridge menu, select the boot ROM. All right, so let's take the boot ROM and let's put it on there. Boot ROM goes right on here, I think. I'm going to install it from there. I'm also going to put it in uh, the EverDrive folder just to get it safe. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to install that, and I'll show that how it's done. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this in now. We've got everything we need on here. Let's make sure we got everything good to go here. Pop it in. You should see it pop up over here. There it is, there's the boot ROM. All right, so next thing we have to do is actually select the boot ROM here. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. If I can hold the camera and do this at the same time. We're gonna install the bootloader. So we're gonna press start on our controller here. And that's doing it. And turn off the system now. Let's do that. It'll work back on my original N64. It's also going to work on your analog 3D. Let me know if that helped you guys.